You don't want to. You talk without yeah, the what's exactly. code. Exactly. Ah, yeah, I would take my shirt off, but I don't want to embarrass him. For me. <laughs> Really got it next to you like this. You do have to deal with this. <laughs> hey, you can. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. First of all, first of all, first on, of I ain't gonna lie. You could at least wax this right here. Is there? All right, come on. What I got? Oh, come on. Shit. Yeah, listen. I have a question going to you anyway. Kyle, oh, it's a question for you actually. Yeah. All right. <laughs> After the injury all year and trying to you know face that kind of adversity, how rewarding is it for you to be able to have the kind of impact that you've had not just tonight but throughout the whole series and playoffs in general? Recording in progress. All right. Um, I think just uh, being able to stay with it and, you know, having, you know, having teammates like JB um, and, and an organization that just said, look, get yourself healthy, um, get yourself healthy. And, and that was big. And for me, it was all about getting myself healthy so I can be able to help my team in these type of moments and these type of situations. Um, but it was all about just, you know, staying with it, being resilient and, um, you know, believing in what, what I've done in my career and what I know I still can do. Jimmy, after all that you guys had to go through this year, after all you had to go through in this series, even tonight, um, I know the job's not done, but what's it mean to be one of the last four standing? It means we are one step closer to our goal, um, which we already knew that we were capable of from, um, from the jump. When you talk about from the beginning of the season, uh, we got eight more to get. And like I always say, we always going to be in this thing together. Um, I'm so, so proud of uh, all of my guys for playing as hard as we did today. And um, like I said, we got eight more. Yeah, I really can't believe I'm sitting there. <laughs> for, uh, for both Jimmy and Kyle, Spo was talking about that the good. physicality of this series and the physicality of this game. How has that, how have you guys experienced that on the court, how physical the game was, and how has that prepared you for whatever may come next in the conference finals? Uh, I think the physicality is, you know, it's part of the NBA, especially in the playoffs, and uh, we, we are very well prepared for that. And this guy over here likes to be physical and play football on the, on the basketball court. So I think that our team feeds off of that, honestly. You know, I think even a guy like, we got a guy like Bam, who's very physical, dominant, um, type of big, and we just like, you know, we don't mind the physicality. It is what it is. And when it comes down to, you know, being that and being in the NBA game, you know, sometimes physicality is part of the game, and which it should be. Uh, Jimmy, I was curious. Spose said, "Bam, that's as hard as you're going to see somebody play." Can you talk about any indication you had that he was going to come with that effort tonight? He actually comes with that effort um, every single night. It just um, whenever he plays at a high level like he did tonight, it seems like all his other games are a wash. But um, he grabbed every single big rebound. He has some huge buckets. Um, down the stretch, and like I've said all year long, he's he's been the anchor for us on the defensive side of the ball. But my goodness, when he's attacking and making shots and getting to the free throw line um, on the offensive side of it, he looks virtually unguardable. Kyle, it's felt like you guys kind of had to throw the kitchen sink at Jalen for most of the series, but what's it like playing for a coach who's going to keep searching for solutions when something's not working one thing about coach is uh he's always going to be pre be prepared and uh, i think you know tonight was uh one of his games where he was prepared jalen still is incredible you know honestly 41 points i mean he pretty much you know had him gave him a chance to win the game <clears throat> and uh you know you got to respect it but having you know opportunity to you know switch up coverages be ready for all type of situations and uh, scenarios uh coach was really prepared for everything and i think the team we all responded to it and we were just you know ready to go the historical context of just what you guys accomplished tonight, being the second number eight seed to, to go to the conference final. What do you think sets you guys apart from maybe the typical uh, eight seed? We got Kyle Lowry. Fucking <laughs> up. <laughs> That's my answer. Jimmy. Oh shit. Yo, ooh, that's a fine. I just hit my ankle my on the like table. Sorry. It yes. seemed like the a lot of the a lot of the second half offense was just you guys reacting to the doubles that you were seeing, I guess just how important were those? Quadruples. <laughs> or triples or quadruples, just how important were those moments of the game to kind of react to that? Uh, it, was, it was a lot. But, you know, all the guys were in the right spot. They were they were attacking closeouts. Um, they were steadily aggressive, which is good for us. Um, if you're going to double anybody on our team, the ball's going to move. We got guys that can shoot the bar incredibly well, attack and finish at the rim incredibly well. So I'm, I'm glad that that portion of it is over, and um, we got to look forward to whoever that we have next. 
And if that's the game plan on whoever, and we're going to swing that ball around again. Thank you, gentlemen. Yo, that shit really hurt. My bad. I just fucking smacked. They need to get some. Man, what?